Hello everyone, this is Martin here. It is uh, Wednesday just after 5 o'clock and I'm looking at the charts live here and I want to produce a quick short video on what I uh, basically see happening uh, toward the end of this week and also uh, for next week. Again, I sent out, an, um, I sent out a um, uh, lesson to m uh, many of you and some of you received it long long time ago but it was a lesson with regards to pre-summer movement we often have uh, prices that uh, do uh, reverse uh, prior to the summer and uh, there's quite an opportunity for quite a number of pips so uh, we're going to take a look at some of these currencies see what I see and uh, where our entry possible entries uh, and uh, profit targets could be so um, another thing is uh, as you can see with my pointer we are again going to be looking at the daily charts I'm going to start with the euro uh, USD but one of the things is the advantage of using daily charts over smaller time frames is that you're able to see the bigger picture again here we go back all the way to the beginning of uh, January you can see that uh, so from we, we get to see from January right until uh, April um, if we zoom it out just to quickly again you can see um, going back all the way to September we definitely are in a downtrend we kind of have a double bottom over here here's the first touch at the bottom here's the second touch uh, major support area right here you, and you can see that price though is still making lower highs so here again uh, almost like a triple high here triple top but uh, this so far up until now has uh, become a uh, lower high than the previous high and uh, um, I'm going to zoom in again and this time I've drawn a, uh, a red uh, rectangle can you see the outline of a red rectangle right there okay so this is my trading area uh, what I'm looking for is if price and and right now uh, for the euro USD uh, we're still in the downtrend I we obviously need further confirmation to take a trade um, I do expect um, uh, I do expect the uh, price and let me just zoom in a bit I expect price to uh, break to the downside here uh, past this area and I'm looking if if we see price close somewhere below the 10680 mark okay uh 10650 if we see price close below that then price certainly will go much lower than this and uh um we could be looking at uh another 100 200 pips below that if price actually breaks below this so uh if price breaks below this uh bottom uh uh, red line on this uh, rectangle again that's the 106.50 uh, area um, then price will certainly retest the uh, low the previous swing low right here and uh, uh, your your pro uh, I'm sorry your stop loss would be just above the high of this bar right here uh, if you want to be really conservative your uh, your stop loss could be above the high of this um, red rectangle okay so I do expect price to uh, come down lower um, and uh, we'll just see what happens so again wait and see okay next next is the British pound USD here you can see uh, price today went up by quite a bit it was a huge upward mo mo uh, movement but we are stopped out here at the uh, 50 SMA and what I'm looking for is kind of almost like a counter trend trade I I still think we're in a downtrend as you can see over here um, the uh, for price to continue going higher we would have to have the next candle has to close above this top line of the rect rectangle and let me just take a look at that so we're looking at the 150 60 uh, or just above that 150 50 150 60 uh, level price would actually have to close above that uh, for us to be confident for price to go higher uh, right now price hasn't done that we are at a confluence uh, 
uh, of a, a resistance area with this gray rectangle with the 50 SMA. So again, it's a wait and see situation the next day or so. Will price go higher? Or will price go lower? And if price is kind of rejected, look for some sort of uh, uh, bearer signal, perhaps on a lower time frame. Maybe the four-hour time frame might be good to look for bearer signals for a possible counter trend trade that might bring us all the way back down to here. And uh, so that's what, what I see for the uh, British pound USD daily. MACD, you can see we're still below the zero. So just, just have some caution over here. The Australian USD, uh, it did go up quite a bit today, but was rejected off the uh, lower trend line. You see, I've drawn a trend line from the high swing high here. The next swing high here, I've just, I have joined the uh, the tops of uh, these candles. So you can see this trend line. And I'm actually looking for price or waiting for price to break below this level right here. And... Uh, that level is uh, the 0 0.760, 60, uh, 0 0.750 level. So if price breaks below that l red rectangle line right there, then price is going to continue going down further. And first, we're going to uh, uh, test the, let me just draw that. We're, uh, if price breaks below that, then we're going to test, retest that. This area where the uh, support zone is, possibly go back down to here, retest that. This is a long-term trend line going way back, okay, long-term trend line. And I'll show you uh, what I mean by that. Uh, let me just zoom out for a second. Okay, probably have to go to the, um, just a second here. Let's go to the weekly, monthly. There you go. Can you see in the monthly? Going all the way back to June 2008, I've drawn a trend line from here all the way to the bottom of where we are today. And when we zoom back in, just bring it in a little bit. Okay. Now you can see that, that this is the long-term trend line touching the bottoms there. So price will... Uh, if price breaks the lower uh, line of this rectangle, price will definitely retest the uh, the support area of this uh, this swing low and uh, come back down to here. Uh, and obviously, if price breaks below this area, we've got a long way to go. So we'll keep in uh, in tune to that this play to see if price from here is going to be rejected and uh, reverse back down. Okay. Next one is the New Zealand US dollar. Here you can see some major uh, pin bars. They're all showing rejection off the high of this area right here. Um, I'm actually looking for price to break below the um, this lower line. We are in a short term uptrend. Uh, the MACD is above zero. But again, if price breaks below this lower red uh, line of the rectangle, and that is, let me just take a look. We're looking at the 76, 7600 area. If price breaks below 7600, then price definitely is going to come back down, possibly all the way down to retest uh, this previous swing low, which is about 165 pips away. Okay, so again, this, uh, right now we're going sideways, but mainly being rejected off the top here. You can see with these long shadows, these long bars, that that means rejection. This is a this is a huge rejection uh, pin bar right here, uh, and I kind of expect price to come down lower. Uh, and we're waiting for price to break below this lower red line here. Okay. The U.S. Swiss franc, um, again, this one, just not too sure. It's kind of just going sideways. We're in a sideways consolidation. And uh, so the short term, I've, I've put it right here. Uh, I, I'm a little bit unsure. I mean, we've, we've uh, prices come back down. It's bounced back, back up. Back, back up. Uh, the 50 and the 21 uh, uh, moving averages are meeting. Price is just, just above the 50, but 
I'm not too sure if prices continue going higher. Um, it looks like um, I did have the upper uh, line of the rectangle drawn in. Price is broken above there, so I do possibly see price going higher, at least to retest this swing, a previous swing high here. So my kind of my feeling is price will go higher. Um, and uh, even though the MACD right now is just below zero, but it's it's curving up, okay? Um, so if anything, uh, even though today we had an amazing up day, it's, it's an engulfing candle. So just just based on that fact alone, price may retrace back just a wee bit to the, uh, uh, to, to the moving averages, but I believe price is going to uh, go higher. And US CAD, again, just going sideways. Um, uh, uh, we're right at the 100 uh, SMA, this is the 50, this is the 21, this brown line here um, is the 100, uh, so price is kind of hugging that, it was, price went down here, rejected uh, by the uh, buyers, bringing price back up, and again, it's just going sideways, I believe we're in a short term downtrend, we do need further confirmation, P uh, the MACD is below zero, and, and this is what I'm looking for, if price closes below this lower red line and that let me just tell you what that is if price closes below the one uh one twenty one fifty area one twenty one forty then price is gonna keep coming back down to at least uh the one nineteen fifty area. Okay so uh again we're looking for price to close below the uh red line before we can get further before uh well that would give us confirmation that price will continue going down further okay uh it's got a long way to go up but again if price closes above this top red line then price will go higher but i believe price is going to go down lower as you can see with this uh, uh with this arrow right here finally we've got the u.s japanese uh, again, we're right in the middle here. Price uh, just broken above the 50. I believe price will go a little bit higher, uh, but I'm uh, kind of uh, looking at this red rectangle I have drawn in. Okay, if price breaks above that the, uh, that top line there, which is around the 120, 60, uh, 120, 50 area of price closes above that then we can expect price go all the way up to retest the previous high here of uh, of around 121.80 122 okay um if price con uh, comes down from here then we've got this um we've got this trend line which i've already drawn in price has to close below that for price to go down lower ultimately if price goes all if 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 uh, price bar closes below this bottom e uh, red line, which is, let's take a look, let's see the 118.40 uh, uh, in that zone. If price closes below the 118.50, 11840 area, then price definitely will come down further. Uh, and it's got a long way to go. This one could give us quite a number of pips, about 230 pips if that, if that happens. So again, uh, right now, most most of the uh, pairs are going sideways. Let's wait and see again. We're still talking about the pre-summer movement, so keep tuned. I'll uh, keep you posted, uh, and I'll provide you some more videos uh, once there's a little bit more clarity. But I have drawn in the uh, gray. I'm sorry. I, I have drawn in the um, uh, the red uh, rectangle outline here uh, for all the currency charts, and those are the parameters or the um, the outside walls, the price has to break to either one side or the other for price to continue in that direction. So hopefully this information helps you. And if you have any questions, please email me. Uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Happy trading and uh, really, really important. I will have uh, most likely by tomorrow or Friday at the latest, I'm going to have a brand new broker for you. So keep, keep tuned uh, to that. And I will send out a special email once I've got the uh, final broker pinned down and we'll let you know what that's all about. Take care. Happy trading. Bye-bye.